Hey friendies, welcome back to Mrs. East Chickadees. I'm happy to see you today. Look around, where do you think I am today? Take a look, there's some clues that you might see. I'm in my car, you're right, we're taking a field trip today. Cause it's been a very long time since we've taken a field trip. I'm taking a field trip today with you to the grocery store. And you'll see why in just a couple of minutes. But first we need to stand up and say the pledge. Before we do the pledge, I have a little chickadee who has a birthday today. Happy birthday, Leah, six years old. Happy birthday. Friendly, stand up, hand on heart. Let's say our pledge on this special day. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Super job, my friendies. Thank you so, so much. You can sit down. So welcome back to Mrs. E's Chickadees. As I said, we're taking a field trip to the grocery store because, pretend field trip, because our book today is set in the grocery store. That is the setting. Oh, that's a big word. You say, setting. The setting is the grocery store. That means it's where the book takes place. So let's jump right into our book and see what's going to happen. The title of our book is Just Enough Carrots. Ooh. The author is Stuart J. Murphy, and the illustrator is Frank Remkowitz. Can we say thank you to Stuart and Frank for such a great book? Oh, I got a little paint on my face, Randy's, from my hand. <laughs> thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Frank. Ooh, carrots. Just enough carrots. There's our title page. Superstar Market. Ooh, that must be the name of the grocery store. Cool. They're shopping. I want some more carrots. The bunny's talking to his mommy. I really like carrots. When you eat them, you munch and you crunch. Everybody pretend you're eating a carrot. Munch and a crunch and a munch and a crunch. I know there are others who have many more carrots. We have just one little bunch. Yes, horse has more carrots, but bird has the same amount. An elephant has even fewer. <gasps> this book has math words in it, friendies. Let's see what the math words are. Our carrots, he's got how many bunches? One bunch. More. One, two, three. Oh yeah, three is more than one. Samey, same. Oh, what's that math word again when two numbers are the same? Equal, you got it. And fewer. Oh, he doesn't even have one whole bunch. He's got one single carrot. We have too many peanuts. I don't like to eat peanuts. Look at his face. Oh, he really doesn't like peanuts. First you chomp, then you chew, then you chew. Mm, he doesn't like that. Do you like peanuts? I do. I'm sure there are others who have fewer peanuts. Remember, fewer means less. Why can't we buy just a few? Yes, squirrel has fewer peanuts. But bird has the same amount. An elephant has even more. Ooh, let's count up our friend Bunny's peanuts. Let's count the bags, ready? You count with me, make your mouth match my finger. Here we go. One, two, two bags. Fewer, oh, one is less than two, that makes sense. Samey, same, they both have two, they're equal. <gasps> Ooh, more, let's count these, ready? One, two, three, four. That's a lot of peanuts, Freddy's. Please don't buy any worms. I really hate worms. Freddy's, do you eat worms? I don't eat worms either. I wouldn't buy that at the grocery store. They squish and they squirm and they crawl. Everybody make this face. Ugh, nasty. I'll bet there are others who have fewer worms. Let's not buy any at all. Yes, elephant has fewer worms, but frog has the same amount. And bird has even more. That makes sense. Birds eat worms. Let's count how many cans of worms they have. One, two, three. Fewer. One, two. Oh, two is less than three. Yes, we know that. Equal, samey, same. And more. Woo, this is a lot of worms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bird must be really hungry. You don't have to eat peanuts. You don't have to eat worms. 
and we have just enough carrots to munch. I bought all of these peanuts and all of these worms. Why do you think his mommy bought lots of peanuts and lots of worms? Hmm, let's make a prediction. What do you think? That's a good prediction. Okay, let's see why she bought all those peanuts and all those worms. I bought all those peanuts and all those worms because elephant and bird are coming for lunch. Oh, that makes sense. Birds eat worms and the elephant likes the peanuts. Chomp, chomp, chomp and chew. Squish, squirm and crawl. Munch, munch and crunch. Yummy. Carrots for all. Everybody got something to eat that they liked. Let's give that a regular cup. Really nice job. Thank you so much, Freddie. So before we get into our Circle Time Center today, my song is not the wheels on the bus, the wheels on the car or the wheels on the minivan for me. Are you ready? Get out your wheel for our field trip. Ready? The wheels on the car go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the car go round and round all through the town. It's a little rainy today. Let's get our wipers out. The wipers on the car go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the car go swish, swish, swish all through the town. Let's pretend your baby sister or brother is crying in the car. Does that ever happen? Mm. Ready? The baby in the car goes wah, 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 wah. The baby in the car goes wah, wah, wah all through the town. Okay, we're at the grocery store. The wheels on the car have stopped right now. Stopped right now. Stopped right now. The wheels on the car have stopped right now. We are here. Really nice job. Let's give ourselves a firework clap. Ready? Ah, great job, friendies. We are still talking about the letter A. Let's get our sign up for A. Five ah sounds. Ready? Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Now switch hands. It also says its name. A, 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 A. Let's see how many days we've had in this new month of A, A, April. Get your body ready. Crisscross. Hands in lap. Eyes looking. Lips touching. I got my crazy hair guy. I'm going to give you a wow when you look good. I'm going to get my own body ready. Wow, you look good. Here we go, friendies. Today is April. Ooh, what number is this? At? It's one less than 10. Nice, it's nine. You're right, and we're in the year 2020. Do you think we can count to nine? Friendies, so easy. I'm gonna turn over here so that you can see. Friendies, yesterday, remember, my little red gumball was there when I practiced my video, and then it was gone. I got it back. It was hiding. Hands ready for stop clock counting. Are you ready? I'll give you a wow. Wow. Great job. Here we go. Friendies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great job. Put your powder finding goggles on and open them up. Ooh. It looks like we're starting a what? You're right. A new pattern. Let's see what it would have been if we kept going with our last pattern. Ready? Purple, red, red. Purple, red, red. Purple, red. What was supposed to come next? You're right, it was red, but I started a new pattern. What color will we have tomorrow? Would you like to make a prediction? Tell me, what do you think we should have tomorrow? Ooh, I'm hearing some good colors. Okay, we'll have to wait and see what color we have tomorrow. Let me scooch back over here and let's see if I can stump you on what day it is today, friendies. Is it Sunday? That's family time, that's not today. Is it Monday? No. T -t Tuesday? No. Wednesday, our W letter? No, but that was yesterday. Is it Thursday, our T and our H together? It's Thursday, super de duper job, my friendies. Today is Thursday and tomorrow will be Friday, Friday. I have some fun things to share with you today. So let's get right to it, okay? So grownups, I have a couple fun little games to share. 
The first game is based on our book. This is a fun little counting game. I would recommend grabbing a box and throwing all sorts of items in it. Let the kids pick whatever you want. And then all you have to do is just write on a piece of paper, it doesn't even have to be construction paper, you're gonna make four columns. This says hour, and you can leave that blank if you want. Then it says fewer, some, or excuse me, same, equal, and then more. And if your child really loves to write, write them on a little index card and let them copy it and let them write it. Super practice for handwriting. And then you're just gonna sort the items. So I started with markers. My deals, let's count my markers. One, two, three. Something that's fewer scissors, because I only have one. One is less than three. Something samey, same, equal. Oh, let's count my pens. One, two, three. Now something I have a lot of more. Let's count my glue sticks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so just let them pick out a bunch of toys. That's a fun little thing. Here's another little fun activity, and I thought this was a really, really cool idea. So our book was about carrots. Our bunny liked to eat his carrots. He went to the grocery store. And I thought we could do some painting with a carrot. Grown-ups, you can use a giant carrot like this, or you can use those baby carrots. That's actually good for their grip, too, to try to use that. So um, I had just happened to have some paint. If you don't have paint, look up on Pinterest some DIY paint. You can always use um, watercolor, too. Okay, Or you could even do shaving cream and put it on colored paper. That's another option if you don't have paint. So uh, I'm going to put this up here again. We've used this a few times. Take a screenshot of this or freeze the video right now if you're interested in knowing the language used for the A. So we're talking about the letter A. I am going to dip my orange, my carrot, into some orange paint, and I'm going to make another A. Where do we start our letters at the top? You're right. Big line down. Oh, I need a little more. Don't be afraid to dip again. Big line down. Leapfrog up. Big line down. Little line over. So have them write all sorts of letters. You can do, write numbers, make shapes. Just let them have a great time with their, your little carrot, okay? Also, another little extension. In addition to making letters and numbers and shapes, have them draw some cool pictures. This is parchment paper. And then, grown-ups, all you have to do is just make a shape. Friendies, what shape is this around my carrot? You say, two short sides and two long sides. It's a... Er, er, rectangle oh no don't get confused it's not a circle it's a long skinny circle it's an oval you got it so have them paint whatever they want i just painted these quick you draw that give them some cutting practice good for the fine motor remember thumb up top steering finger out front everything else in the back then you can have them cut this out put these up to the window they look beautiful with the sun shining through okay all right friendies so let me just take, take a little peeky peek at my notes Great job listening today. I am so happy that we had some fun today. If it's raining where you are, friendies, don't be sad. Because if rain is okay, why is rain good? Hmm. What does the what does rain do that's really good? Yeah, it's good for our grass, right? And our flowers that are starting to grow. Because remember, we are in the season of what? Spring. Did you hear the birdie? So the flowers are starting to come up. So rain is okay. Don't be sad. Rain is good for our earth. So I have one more little book to share with you. It's a little tiny A book. And when I point to the word at the end, it's your turn to whisper. This is my whisper book. Are you ready? Oh, I'm not going to be able to stump you because you're too smart for me. I think you're going to get all of these. My A book. A is for apple. You got it. One point for you. Zero for me. Ants, good job, our insect friends with six legs. A is for, ooh, not a crocodile. What is it? Alligator, good job. Three points for you. Zero for me, you're too smart for me. You're gonna get this one too. We sang a song about this the other day. A is for astronaut that goes up into space. Good job. A is for, this one's tricky. Takes people that are sick to the hospital. Ambulance, you say. Ambulance, yep. Ooh, don't say peach and don't say orange. That's my clue. A is for, hmm, do you know that one? Tricky. Apricots, you say. Nice job. Oh, we know this. We talked about this the other day. A is for apron. And our very last one, A is for 
acorns. Really, really nice job. Give yourself a one, two, three, whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. Great. Little pick me up for the grown ups. Can you see that? It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Great job, grown ups. Keep your head up. You're doing an awesome job. Friendies, it's time for us to head out. Let's do our affirmations. Repeat after me. I am brave. I am kind. I am smart. I am strong. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us at Mrs. E's Chickadees, where every little chickadee is part of my flock. Have a super day, everybody.